Oh, good day, guys. I'm just off to the op shop to drop these old clothes off. Man, oh man, they pile up over time. Oh, quick check to make sure it's safe. Got his gold, off to the car. <laughs> oh, 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 are you okay? Got them all right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's all right, Bob. I'm just a bit bruised. Oh, I thought you saw me. Oh, oh well. <laughs> When did you wear flared trousers? Well, that's beside the point, Bobby. You can't always assume that I'm always going to see you, mate. I mean, sometimes I might be distracted, sometimes I might be looking the other way, and sometimes I might not just see you. Well, why that? Well, you are fairly low to the ground. I, I prefer vertically challenged, Constable Brian. Right, well, I suppose it's better to trip up over you than it is to trip up over a car, Bobby. <laughs> Tripping up over a car would hurt. It's not quite what I meant, Bobby. Here, give me a hand putting these in the car and I'll show you, eh? Sick, right. well, then it's sick. Tripping over you isn't much fun, Bobby, but at least it only results in a few bruises. But there's a place where it's far more dangerous not to be seen. Out here. What? Oh, oh. What? Our driveway? What? What? Home, Constable Brian. It's the safest place in the whole universe. Ah, Bobby, but it's only safe if we make it safe together. Remember that box of clothes, Bobby? Yeah. We'll replace it with this car here. Oh, come on, Constable Brian. <laughs> I know you do your morning push-up, but even I'm sure that you can't lift a car. No, no. Here, let me show you something. Oh, who are we going somewhere, Conor O'Brien? Conor O'Brien! Oh, it's me, Conor O'Brien! Me lovable Bobby! I'm right out here! Ooh. Oh, I get it. You can't see me when the doors are closed. Exactly, Bobby. When I'm sitting in the driver's seat, I can't see past the edge of the bonnet in the front or out the back either. And I can't see much out the sides. Oh. So, if I was wandering past and the car started moving... You got it, Bobby. I can't see you. And I could get really badly hurt, eh? You could. Oh. So, where can you see me when you're in the car? Hey, well, I'm glad you asked, Bobby. Focus, Bobby. Remember, you're there for a reason. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Uh, what was it again? Well, now you see how hard it is to see a child. Or a puppy. Or a puppy from the inside of a car. Now, Bobby, I've got my little friend here. <laughs> Are you sure he's right for the part, Conor O'Brien? Well, how do you mean, Bob? Well, he looks a little stiff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take him to the back of the car, Bobby, and what I want you to do is look through the rear view mirror and tell me when you can see him. Rightio, Conor O'Brien. Can you see me now, Bobby? Oh. Negatory, Gotham O'Brien. What about now, Bobby? Oh, a little bit, when I jump. Don't jump, Bobby, you're driving, remember? Oh, not yet then. Oh, oh uh, there he is. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, that's quite a long way off, eh? So you see, Bobby, that's about six metres. This distance is called the blind spot, Bobby, and it's the area where the driver can't see below the edge of the bonnet or the edge of the window. And on a car like a minibus or even a bigger car, the blind spot will be much longer. What? Well, why would anyone just run out behind the car in the first place, Honorable Brian? Well, Bobby, there are plenty of reasons. The first reason might be chasing a runaway ball or toy. Oh no! Look out, Mum! Phew, she saw her in time. But imagine if she hadn't, because she was in the blind spot. The next reason is the most common. Mum might be going out shopping or something, and her little girl suddenly decides Mom! she wants to come too. She doesn't know! She can't see her! Yeah. Luckily her dad was onto it. He sure was! And that's one of the most common causes of serious accidents for kids all around the world, Bobby, being hit in their driveway by a car. Oh, that's terrible, Constable Brian. It's so common, Bobby, it even has its own name. It's called the bye-bye syndrome. That's where a child gets upset or excited that their parent is leaving and races out to say bye-bye for one more time. Right into the blind spot. You bet, Bob. But it's not just parents they have to look out for. If they share a drive, then they have to look out for their neighbour's car as well. So, kids should always be careful around cars, eh, Constable Brian? Absolutely, Bobby. Let's hurry, Constable Brian. I want to get to the shop. Hold your horses, Bobby. We always need to be careful coming out of a driveway. Why that, Constable Brian? Is it because there are ninjas waiting in ambush? Uh, no.
That's why, Bobby. If I came out too fast, they wouldn't have had time to see or hear me. But he did a really great job of waiting to cross. He was watching and listening out really well. You need to listen for cars as well. You can often hear them before you see them. Another place to be really careful is a car park. Always stay close to your parents and listen to what they say. If a car is backing out, then they'll see your mum, even if they don't see you. If you run ahead, then you're running through a whole bunch of blind spots at once. And that could land you in more than trouble. It could land you on hospital. Even when you reach the car, stay where your mum or dad tells you until the car is open. Maybe keep one hand on the car, just to remind yourself. How much does you get for those clothes, Constable Brian? Nothing, Bobby. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, oh, you got ripped off, Constable Brian? <laughs> they were for charity, Bobby. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I've organised a test, Bobby, to see if you've been paying attention about car park safety. Test? What test? But I haven't even swatted. All you've got to do is stick close, mate. Come on. Test? Hang on. What test? What? Oh, wait, running up ahead like this. The cars can't see me. Best I stick with Constable Brian. Well done, Bobby, you made it. <laughs> yeah, well done, Bobby, you're onto oh, it. Gerald Turner! <laughs> just remember, never run around where there's cars, no matter what. Whether you're a kid or a puppy, just stick close to an adult and you'll be just fine. I reckon, <laughs> and with the brake lights bouncing off Constable Brian's head, it's practically like having my own lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> When I play in the driveway, I watch out for cars. When I'm playing in my driveway at home, I always look out for cars and I always know where I'm going to go if a car comes. I look out for cars that have the white lights on at the back. If you're playing on a driveway, play on the house side, not on the road. If lots of cars come down your drive, then I would say to stay near your house and play in the backyard. You know what, Constable Brian? I think we learned some pretty important stuff today. I reckon you're right, Bobby. Can you sum it up for me? Oh, I'd love to, Constable Brian. We learned that it's sometimes hard for grown-ups to see those of us who are <coughs> authentically challenged. I also learned that cars have something called a blind spot, and that it's not a pimple with a blindfold. <laughs> no, it's an area around a car where the driver can't see, and small animals and children are often right in that area. I also learned that you should be really careful in car parks and always stick close to your growing up because the cars will see them even if they don't see you. Hey guys, you haven't seen Bobby, have you? I haven't seen him in ages and normally that only means one thing, trouble. Bobby! Come on, call them O'Brien! <laughs> 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 hey, Bobby, what have you got on your feet? Springs! Call them O'Brien! <laughs> And why have you got springs on your feet, Bobby? I'm trying to solve the height problem. I figure if I spend more time up high, it'll be easier for you to see me. Oops, might be time for me to spring into action. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Mark. Stay smart. And keep your cool, Kaki Teano. Oh, well that's one way to unwind. <laughs> You're highly sprung, Bobby. Oh, I'd love more for small Brian. What it hurts. <laughs> this area is the area, this distance. Take him to the cat. <laughs> for more info about this program and for fun things to do, visit www.brianandbobby.co.nz. Just make sure it's Brian with a Y. Brian and Bobby brought to you in association with Blue Light Ventures and Trillion Trust with the help of New Zealand On Air.